Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, so I read a little bit about the um, these DLCs, and so Dunwall City Trials are basically some random challenges. It's not a deal. It's not really a DLC. It's more like a additional activities for the for the game for those who are you know they they like to do random things. Whatever. Uh, so it's probably n I'll. I'll will skip this one because it's it's there is nothing really interesting. Um, there is there is no story. That's it, and I will continue with the knife of the the knife of Dunwall. We will play as Dodd, Dowd, whatever his name Dowd, right? And this one is Dowd DLC as well. So you know you know it's funny because I was thinking about. Um, I didn't kill Dowd in the main game, and I thought that um, maybe I could have killed him. But in the end, I realized that even if you kill him, because we have these DLCs, and because there is a Dishonor too, and I think he, Dowd is alive there, because there is another DLC where you play as a girl, and you need to kill the outsider or something like that. And that girl is a student of doubt. So basically, no matter your choice, but he will be alive. So the fact that I spared him and I just stole the, the pouch, I basically it means that I, based on the main story, it was the right choice to do. In any case, this is the, uh, the Knife of the Dunwall DLC. shouldn't have mattered. I'd killed nobles before. You could float a whaling ship on the highborn blood I've spilled. Another noble steps in to replace the last one. All equally corrupt. Why should an empress be different? But she was. I watched her bodyguard's face as they took him away. Dead eyes. I knew I'd pay for this one. Maybe I deserved to. A storm was coming that would shake apart everything I'd built.
Didn't they say that it, they stopped the time when I... Even the mid-air? It's weird. Dowd, my old friend. It's been a long while, but you've got my interest again. How the years pass and the bodies fall. Did you know that there are only eight like you in the world, bearing my mark? I'm here because you're right. The Empress was different. This time, you can't just fade away into the shadows. There will be consequences. Your story is close to ending, and even you can't escape it. But what ending will you make for yourself? I'm here to give you one last gift, Dowd. It's a mystery. One that starts with a name. Delilah. Andrew Rothwild. Rothwell is a ruthless businessman who owns the slaughterhouse and a fleet of whaling ships, including a ship called the Delilah. Infiltrate the Roth Rothwell slaughterhouse and find out what's behind the name. For six months, the city writhed and changed. For six months, I tried to forget what I'd done to the Empress and her little girl. But there was no forgetting. I needed to find my next move. But all I had was that name. Delilah. Who was she? A threat? Or an ally? Word came from my second-in-command, Billy Lurk. In a house built on secrets. Lurk was especially good at uncovering them. There was a ship called the Delilah. It hunted whales for Bundry Rothwild. A former deckhand who'd made good. Now he owned a slaughterhouse, and he ran his workers like a prison gang. A ship named Delilah. It could be a coincidence, but it's not. In Dunwall, things are always tangled up like a bag of snakes. As doubt, you can use your network of spies and corrupt merchants to purchase equipment and upgrades before each mission. You can also pay for special favors. These favors can have a variety of effects in the missions such as granting access to equipment caches or revealing secret information. Or overheard the code to the safe in the shipping office in all and this one is not that of course. The stolen rune. A bribed lab laborer will misplace a rune he found in a crate full of old scrimshaw. Silent sabotage. A bribed worker will disconnect the security of the refinery valves. Using the valves will not sound the alarm. Okay, why not? But I need a lot of money, see, apparently. A wrist bill, a card. Choke dust, what is that? Why not? Sounds very chunk capacity. Level 4, max 6. Slip dark capacity, that's what I need. Slip dark, definitely. Start mission. Dowd, you're here. I got bored, so I started without you. Turns out we're here on the perfect day. There's a strike at the plant, and it's no wonder. Rothwild runs this place like a prison. The stupid workers can't even get in without a time card. When the strike started, the butchers confiscated all the cards they could find. They've given the city watch free reign to use force. If you ever wondered why I wanted out of the slums, Here's your answer. There'll be other ways in, I'm sure of it. You don't mind if I tag along, right? Just to keep an old man safe. One last thing. I found something for you. I know you collect these. I'll be on the rooftops till you need me. 
What I don't entirely understand, maybe I need to um, read a little bit of a backstory. But um, the outsider said that there are only, what, nine people that um, have this mark? Nine people who have the outsider mark. So it means they can teleport, they can do this, they can do that. How are Dot Spice are teleporting? I don't understand that. Because clearly they are teleporting. And even in the very beginning of the game, when Dowd was killing the Empress, um, one of his spies or whatever, part of his gang or whatever, the, whoever they are, he used some kind of a hold to to hold the Corvo, and he was holding him like that with some kind of a light. So, what what is that, and how are they using them? Clearly, there are more of um, the nine people there. We, we killed a bunch of them. So, what kind of magic are they using? Do we have a heart? I suppose. See runes and charms through. Oh. They improved. You don't need a heart to use the void gates. That's interesting. Oh, see, they they really changed it. So I don't need anything. I need only two. No, three, two, and. Sleep dart or that's it. A lot of things are useless. Unless chalk dust. Are you killing them? Chalk dust. They're chalking. Doesn't mean that they are not sure. It's not. Can I improve? Blink? Yes, I need four runes. Okay. Cherry powers with your assassin allies at level one assassins will benefit from blinking vitality this means they can teleport and get an increased health well that explains a lot let's see oh Bunch of wounds and charms here and there. So we're at the stage. What is my mission? Enter the Rothwild Slaughterhouse. Find time card. Send us food, not, not bullets. Um, what I'm asking myself is, um, is there any sense to keep the, to, to not kill people 
because I suppose there is no chaos mechanic, right? Here. So I'm, I'm not really sure what to do in this situation. Get over here! Come on, please! Does it affect anything? Not sure. One charm, let's check. Enforced bolts. Well, let's use it. Since in any case we don't have anything. Considering, but uh, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Find a card somewhere. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Come on out. See something this is a reminder that collective bargaining in any industry deemed vital to the state is a capital offense. These include men There's a man out on the river watching the place. If I weren't so young and pure of heart, I'd suggest he's up to no good. City barrister for clarification and enforcement. <laughs> the fourth side of. tell stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rags. They said she was a hundred years old. Granny Rags is everywhere. What is this woman? <clears throat> Safe code. I need to find a card. Bundry Rothwild is uh, need to find a card. Where is the card? That's the question. Uh. See. Oh. Uh, Things went well horribly things. wrong. Sign the contract, and you'll be back at work tomorrow. They used to tell stories about a woman in the slums who did work like this. Granny Rex. They said she was a hundred years old. I didn't see that because I tried to teleport there. I didn't teleport. There was a problem. Well, we didn't have enough flange. But the thing is, I don't see any runes here. I only see bone charms.
dangerous thing from Sokolov's twisted mind. We're the first ones to get them. How do they work? Well, obviously you... Actually, I'm not sure. Let's see if you... Striker's gotta hit one. But I need more men! I was attacking him, but apparently he didn't do any damage for some reason. Bravo. Why every time I teleport, I can't uh, choke anyone? It's weird. It looks like an assassin thing. I'm thinking about Assassin's Creed. That's Weird. It just died. Find a bomb charm, but there are too many rests here. the mall For a second, I, I, I wasn't sure who was speaking. I was like, I don't have a heart. Who's speaking? And then, obviously, there's this girl. They saw me.
some reason they always see me. are fast. <laughs> Things went horribly wrong. They always see me for some reason. It's so weird. Are there any... said what a messy thing Oh, 
Generation boost. There should be some kind of a code, right? Wasn't that the safe? Didn't I have something safe? Didn't I pay money for that? Loot the watch officer safe. Find the combination written on the wall. That's the problem. Conversation is going to last a long, long time. Do I look stupid? <laughs> what? How did you get in here? I have question her. to question her. information about the Delilah. Who hired you? Are you here from the Regent? Maybe he's here to put you in your special chair, Rothwild. Shut up! Kill him, and I'll tell you all about Delilah, and pay you as well. Quiet! 
She's giving you very bad advice. You won't be taking Pull me alive. Down. I'm not sure what to do. Should you kill him? <laughs> yeah, obviously. Self-defense of his property. <laughs> not that his property was substantial. The Rothwilds. We're not a family of means and dependent heavily on the charity of the Abbey of the Everman. Exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely, and then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught, and that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know, I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me, and I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it.
Why? This is the second time that it goes on pause. Why? What a Why did I want to sleep? That's... that's weird. This is a makeshift interrogation chair. Rothwild must be using it to coerce employees. What's the code of it? What is the code? It should be on the wall, but on what wall? I didn't find it. Which wall? Where is this magic wall? Find the combination written on the wall. What wall?
Dragon Charm. It seems to be the problem. Things are really going south. But I still didn't find the code. I need the whatever.
Oh man. That's what I needed to do. Okay, I see. That explains a lot. Um, I suppose it was because of the... I suppose 100% sure that it was because of those explosions. Uh, so I can't really... They can't really notice me. I need to start reload the key. The code for Rothwild's safe is found in an injury report code found near Rothwild in his office. Isn't this his office? It's just weird. Didn't find any injury report or something. Notes. Notes. Man, man, injure. Okay, I didn't pay attention. Five, one, two. Six. There's always, I'm always failing one of the missions. Where's the fourth one?
What a messy DLC. owner named it after some sweet painting. Piss off! Yeah! Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timps! All right! Here's the room key. When you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive. Of course. Why go through all the trouble? When a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing. I don't know. I usually avoid killing, but the thing is in this situation, I don't think that in the DLC there is a honor thing, so high chaos or low chaos, it doesn't really change much, I suppose. Because I didn't see anything. 
and also that woman asked me to kill him and also the fact that basically we're playing as an assassin so his whole point is to kill if he killed an empress then probably killing him is, is fine as well I want this thing, but um, I'm not sure it will count as a as a as a kill for that woman. Yeah, but didn't I do that? Can I take? somewhere it's over there no 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 no
can I take that room? I didn't speak with the that woman now. But I looted the this thing now. I just didn't find the the recipe, but uh, that woman much better. in the pipes is well past safe levels. All employees must leave the grounds immediately. Come for oh man, I need one more run. <clears throat> that was. Doesn't quite work as I expected. So apparently, a teleport is not really a teleport. Basically, a teleport is a fast movement. Because if I died from this wall, it means that I didn't teleport. Because the real teleportation is basically when you completely disappear from one place and reappear in another place. But in this situation, if I died, it it doesn't mean that I teleport. I just it's just a fast movement, and so the wall detected me. So that's quite interesting. not exactly what I expected. about the blood rituals you performed there. Where did you learn such a profane practice? Keep close watch. Why well, didn't kill this?
That looks weird. Thank you. Let's go. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. Whether it's the farm. So. <clears throat> can teleport anywhere. Let me teleport somewhere. Bothering you, Dad? I've seen you kill a man without ruffling his hair. You took out the whole neighborhood. Barrister Timsh lives up in the legal district. I know it pretty well. From what I hear, the Timsh family is practically at war with itself. Talk to his niece Tali if you can. I should probably tag along when you go. Crazy rich people are buying up a lot of that Sokolov security technology these days. Keeps the weepers and looters out. I might be useful. Let's go. The butt can I suck? Delilah once painted portraits for barrister Arnold Timsh, a corrupt aristocrat who uses his legal powers to evict families from their homes and claim property for the Lord Regent, based on false accusations of plague. Barrister Timsh sneezes. Thalia hates him. She has promised to help you locate Delilah for a prize. Meet with Thalia to find out what she knows. As a young girl, Delilah was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. Years later, a painter in Sokolov Circle. Barrister Arnold Timsch paid her to paint portraits. Him, I knew. A nobleman, born rich. And now he was making a second fortune, seizing the assets of played victims for the Lord Regent. But Barrister Timsch was also fighting a private war with his own niece. Something to do with the family fortune. Lurk was probably right. We needed to speak with the niece first. Her feud with the old barrister was something we could use. I got a message to the barrister's niece. And she claimed to know things about Delilah that no one else did. But the knowledge 
would have a price. I wasn't surprised. I went to meet her. No money goes. I didn't have any money for I didn't have money for anything else. One more body should matter, right? Talia should be waiting in Trevor's close. It's an alley just past the wall of light. You'll know it by three whitewashed skulls. Why do I need whale or uh, oil tanks? somewhere.
sabotage the Rothwild Slaughterhouse. While those responsible have been incarcerated, citizens should remain vigilant. Report any... Residual assets of the Rothwild estate are now sole property of the Lord Regent. God, it's nice. it's these damn things don't last long enough. Huh? Uh, someone's supposed to be on duty. <clears throat> Would he meet with the lady because I'm hiring him to kill a person, and I'm paying him a lot of money. Money you will never get yeah, because you'll nice. soon be gasping for breath on the end of Doubt's blade. Shut up, that ain't true, isn't it? Your fear is obvious. You reek. <laughs> Somehow they noticed me. Look at you, the master assassin. So you want to know about Delilah? Well, my uncle is bewitched by her, so he won't tell you anything. I require only two things. Get rid of my uncle, and bring me his last will and testament. In exchange, I'll tell you what you want to know about Delilah Copperspoon. And I'll pay you cold hard coin for your trouble. Come back to me when it's done. Let's meet at the docks when you return. I saw it, but whatever, and I want to try this one as well. Well, well. Somebody, get over how, do, how do they always see me? You see, there is a big difference between the... Uh,
between Dishonored and between this, uh, between Dishonored and DLC. Enemies always notice you for some reason. I don't really understand it. You can't really move here. They always Not notice you. some reason they show the overall chaos, but I'm not entirely sure what's the point of it. Why would you go here? I don't understand that. Well. charm somewhere but I can't I don't know where is it from this recipe Oh, 
from the 78th throughout the world? What's that even supposed to mean? There is some... There is something related to 78, 78 what? Seventy-eight something. If he comes back, I'll earn another promotion. She has to squeeze. Seventeen. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. <clears throat> None of this would have gotten so bad if that damn fool Corvo hadn't killed the Empress. Someone's supposed no, to be on duty. Stupid goddamn. No. I feel like they fixed the range of the of the of the vision. None of this would have gotten so bad if that damn fool Corvo had killed the Emperor. That is nowhere. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of tired of using this vision all the time. I'd like to see the game in colors, uh, but I can't because I I I, I don't have my a heart. And the only way to see charms or runes is to use this thing, and it's just you know it's kind of it's kind of tiring. Ah, 
Ah, bird of prey. No. In the day. They don't even react. I, I didn't press escape. It's so weird. Outsider is messing with me. <laughs> Sir, what is it? I just wanted to say congratulations on getting your own squad. Huh? <laughs> Congratulations on getting your own squad. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. say who he is or what he's doing, but I locked him up just to be safe. He seems familiar to me. Reminds me of someone who used to do business with Tinch, but I'm not sure. Good work, Simmons. Now that that's handled, we can move on. You got the orders from Tinch, right? What's the next address? The Crow's Court on Bramley Street. But there's a problem, sir. The Forestalls live there, and their kids used to sneak us food at the back door. I know it's the job, sir, but it's awfully hard seeing them turned out like this. I don't even have the plague. I've been there last week. Excellent. Simmons, you'll show me this back stoop and we'll go in that way. Start the place up. You've given us the tactical advantage. We'll get Timsh's money. But, sir, I'll put it another way. You think I care which door we kick in tomorrow? The next day? Behind each. Yeah, it's nice. It? You wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address, but I doubt you can get inside from the streets. There you'll find my journal, which contains the entire plot, and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Consider it your payment in advance.
where is my Soshi? Thanks, he's possible because he carries a letter from the Lord Regent giving him immunity from state's season his goods in case of plague. He carries it everywhere, like a talisman. He's also drafted the instrument of his own destruction. The document he uses for evictions is a generic form drafted by the office of the Lord Regent. It was trivial to acquire a blank one. Acquiring a forger of the Lord Regent's signature was less easy. But thankfully, some of my old connections are still loyal. Now all I need to do is swap the two documents. Getting close enough, enough to Timsh to do it won't be easy. I may need the help from a professional. Once that's done, the food, the fool just needs a push to go down, and that's the second part. Inside Timsh's Tim's basement, there is a device that circulates air in the building. If some material happened to find its way into the device, the building would rig like a whipper's den. I had to be particular about the actual material, as I do not wish to infect the guard or servants with plague and cause needless suffering. The unsavory gentlewoman living in Unit 10 has offered to provide the odorous item and a sturdy sack to contain it. She craves my rune in exchange, so I, I will be forced to part with it. She has given me a key to her unit so I can go and get the sack when I'm ready to make my move. That's interesting. And you know what? I will continue this quest in the next part. Because this DLC is apparently four hour long, so um, I'll have to make two parts. Um, There's a room here. Nice. I got a room, but I got, got a, only one room. I'll have to find more rooms. So I can acquire some an assassin. Do I really need it? Maybe agility? I don't care. Bloodthirsty. Can't bound. Bend time. Bend, I need a bend time. So. I want I want agility as well. It doesn't be bad. Well, by holding space bar, I want the overall movement speed increased, but I need three runes and I need a bend time for two runes. I don't think that summon summon assassin is a useful ability, simply because um I'll I'm avoiding killing people. I mean, yeah, I'm playing as an assassin, you know, but whatever. so that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, that was the this is the end of the first part of the DLC knife of the dungeon. Don't remember the name of the DLC. Whatever. That's it. <laughs>